<coughs> Hi VC, <coughs> uh, it's been a while, I don't know, maybe two, three weeks since I did a video. Um, and yeah, I've been really busy, uh, a lot of private stuff and, um, and a lot of stuff at work. But most of all, it's like, I just haven't had an interest in vinyl recently. Um, and that's that's a shame, uh, but you know stuff comes and goes, and and I'm, you know, I'm pretty pretty uh, confident that I'll get the the, the mood mood back. Fuck, my eye is red there. Um, I've been home for a week, no, five days I think, which is flu, and this is my last day at home, and I'm going to work tomorrow. I feel better about it. I'm, very low on energy uh, and I haven't been able to play anything even when I was, I was sick so the stuff that I'm going to show you is stuff that I, I played before this and this is like records on a two week period three week period and it's not much so uh, <clears throat> I just I, I found out that the Stones are coming to Sweden this summer and they are releasing the tickets I think tomorrow or the 28th or something like that and I'm going to try to get myself a ticket. So, so I played some stones. This is out of our heads with uh, stones. I don't know, 69, maybe 65. Really, really good. This is a mono copy I got really cheap, uh, not the best condition, but it's okay. Really, really good. Mercy, mercy. Uh, last time, good times. I'm alright. Can't get no satisfaction, obviously. Cry to me. Play, play with fire. Really good, and I also play the biggest banquet. Um, it's on the blue Decca label. Um, yeah, and this is a classic, obviously. A lot of people have that. And playing in the background just to be on the subject is Six Fingers. Uh, and both biggest banquet and Six Fingers are just classics, should be in everyone's uh, uh, collection if you enjoy, like. Um, Rock, 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 British 60s and 70s rock and roll music. But other than that, I've been on a sort of a moody mood when I played records, and and I played this. I've showed this a lot of times. This is the only no the second Earth record I have. I have an earlier one with them. Uh, but this is, I mean, this is a masterpiece of of a record, in my opinion. Uh, still cracks. Um, it is. It's a masterpiece. It's almost a 10, in my opinion. Just so moody, really, really good drone music, uh, and yeah, just a fantastic record. I'm going to show you another one that I've shown many times, but um, I, and I found out that Opeth is, is uh, I think, finished with their recording of the new album, and they are working with the artwork. They haven't named the record yet, uh, but I think it's going to be out this summer. In, in the middle of the summer, so I I, I put out two uh, Opeth records to play. This is my own hers, and also took out this uh, Morning Rise. I'm not so familiar with these early records, that's why I, I want to play them. But they're good. It's not my favorite. I mean, I think with Opeth they really progress and and. Both the playing, the writing, and the, the compositions of the songs are just so much better now than they were back then. Um, so I'm really, really um, stoked with finding out how the new record is going to be because after Her Heritage, the latest one that was a lot more folkier, progressive, um, not as death metal uh, oriented as their la la later ones. This is going to be a little bit heavier, but then again, I think that he's going to be keep keeping that prog uh, vibe to it. And I even read somewhere that one song is a little bit fusion-y, so but I may be mistaken. <clears throat> also uh, pulled out Pooks, Yada Ade, and this one I come, come to uh, play very often. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's hard to describe, but it's Swedish rock in Swedish, uh, and the pioneer in, of that. A lot of the 60s bands 
sang in, in English just to get some breaks outside of this Swedish uh, border, but in, in Pug's case, he didn't, you know, that didn't matter that much. They put out this in, in English, I think, like a promotion thing, but, but um, yeah, he really had his, his own way of singing and his own way of playing and writing music. And with Joy Vadenius and Jan Lof Karlsson uh, backing him up, just a three-piece band. It's just a fantastic, classic Swedish uh, record. And Moody Music, uh, Into the Wild, the developed soundtrack. This is 100% uh, thanks to, to Dan from Canada for getting the original of this. And I listened to it digitally and really, really fell in love with it. And this was before I saw the movie, I think. Um, but the first issue of this was just sold out immediately, really, really rare, and Music Combined just put out there in better, um, in a better, like, format or a be better uh, press than the first one with the book much bigger and and sounding better, I think, so, so, um, uh, <laughs> that's, that's kind of cool, but a fantastic uh, soundtrack, a lot of UVC members have that, and this was the one that I was talking about, I come back to this, over and over again, and it's just a, a modern masterpiece. And I'm, I, I know Tid Boyellis, uh, has, I don't know if he showed it or just talked to me in a comment about this, but uh, Josh T. T. Pearson's uh, Last of the Country Gentlemen, two LP set, long ass songs, like 11, 15, 20 minute songs on each side. All, almost all the so songs sound the same, um, but just like epic stories uh, really pouring his heart out and you can feel the it's like the, the cover really says it all uh, modern masterpiece I bet you in 25 30 40 years from now that's gonna be sought after and played as shit I don't know if he's had anything more out or I have no idea about him I'm, I haven't done the research so so, uh, but I should look it up because if he released anything else, I'm gonna be there. Uh, Nectar, remember, remember the future. Like this is three, three, three weeks ago or something like that, and I really had a a, a prog vibe going here at home. Wanted to play a couple. I'm gonna show them, um, but I really didn't feel it at all. Like shit, this is. This is not what I want to listen to right now. This was one of them. I was not in the mood for this, and this is good, but remembering the future. But I did not feel it. The same goes with these two, the last two I'm going to show you. Uh, Gentle Giant, Freehand, and I mean, or, or, Ordinary. Uh, like, every other day, I love this record, but I was not in the mood for, for Gentle Giant. And this was okay, but the next one I had to turn off. I, I couldn't stand it. Um, Gentle Giant by Gentle Giant, I think it's called just Gentle Giant. I know there's some confusion because Three Friends was also put out in, in kind of this cover, but this is the first one by them. Um, it's on the spaceship label, not the, the swirl. Uh, and and I mean this this is uh, on a good progressive day. This is a little better than mediocre. Uh, Freehand is much better, and Octopus is, is a masterpiece, but this is just okay, a little bit better than okay, but but if you're not in the mood for it, this just this sucks. And that was kind of that day, so I just turned it off, played something else. Uh, but I guess that's it. I think I have like, I went to a record fair in my town, and they, um, that, there were more, more sellers than uh, Ordinary. Uh, this time, but the prices were, were much higher uh, than last year, and the, they didn't, didn't have that much that I wanted. So I ended up buying four records, and one is a, a, almost like a little bit of a grail for me in Swedish prog. Um, and yeah, the, the three pieces were okay, two that I really wanted, and, and one that I just took a chance on. So, but but I just have those and one more. So I'm gonna save them till I bought or collected uh, at least ten that I can show you in a reason buy and find. So I mean this this is it for this time. 
uh, from me. I just want to say hi and and show you that I'm uh, around. But um, yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not in the in the you know the vinyl vibe right now. Uh, but I'm certain that I'm gonna go get back to it. Uh, it's just a matter of time and, and sorting some stuff up and, and getting some time to sit and, and listen. I haven't had that. So, uh, uh, but but I'm still watching videos in the mornings and when I'm in, in my car to work and I comment uh, when I can. Uh, so I'm still, you know, I'm still here. Uh, but but I'm not doing as much videos as I used to, I guess. Have a great day everyone and yeah, talk to you soon. Bye.